Hello, good morning. Today's topic of discussion is types of damages. That is important types of damages. So let's discuss. Suit for damages is one of the remedies for breach of contract. Damages means monetary compensation payable by defaulting party to the aggrieved or injured party for the loss suffered by the aggrieved party as a result of breach of contract. An aggrieved party may bring an action for damages. Damages refers to money paid by one side to the other. It is a legal remedy. So let's discuss the important types of damages are, are as follows. First one is ordinary damages. Second, special damages. Third, nominal damages. Fourth, vindictive or exemplary damages. Number fifth is damages agreed upon in advance in case of breach of contract. And number six, damages of loss or reputation. So let's discuss one by one. First one is ordinary damages. Ordinary damages are also known as general damages or compensatory damages. Ordinary damages are those damages which arise in the ordinary course of event from the breach of contract. In other words, ordinary damages arising naturally in the usual course of things from the breach of contract. These damages constituted the direct loss suffered by an aggrieved party. They are calculated in such a way as to compensate or make up the loss suffered by the parties. For example, X contract to sell Y 100 kg wheat at the rate of rupees 10 per kg on 10th August. But X fails to supply 100 kg of wheat on 10th August. The market price of wheat on 10th August was rupees 15 per kg. So in this case, Y is entitled to receive from X a compensation of rupees 5 per kg. Another type of damage is special damages. Special damages arising from the breach of contract under some special circumstances. They do not constitute the direct loss but constitute some indirect loss to an aggrieved party on account of the breach of contract. Such damages are recoverable only when the special circumstances are made known or bring to the notice of the concerned party, bring to the notice of the other party to the contract. For example, act, uh, for example P sends some specimen of his goods for exhibition at an agricultural show. After the show, he entrusts some of his samples to an agent of railway company for carriage to another show ground at place N. On the consignment he writes must be at place N Monday certain. Owing to or due to the fault of the railway company, the samples arrived late for the show P can claim damages for the loss of the profit of the show. Third type is nominal damages where the injured or aggrieved party suffers no loss or very negligible loss, but still the court may award him nominal damages 
in order to recognize his right. Thus, such damages nearly acknowledge that the agreed or injured party has proved his case and won it. Where the court finds that the party has suffered no pecuniary loss, that is financial loss, or when the court is of the opinion that the breach complaint is too insignificant, the court may award nominal amount or token amount as damages. Vindictive damages. Vindictive damages are also known as exemplary damages. Exemplary damages are not awarded in ordinary cases of breach of contract. Such damages are very heavy in amount and are granted in the following cases. Number one, dishonor of customer's cheek by banker without any proper reason. Where ba banker refuses to honor the check of a customer while having his money in his hands and the customer thereby suffers in his business reputation, exemplary damages are awarded. And second, breach of contract to marry. In case of breach of promise to marry, the court awards special damages taking into consideration the injured feeling of the party. So in such cases also exemplary damages are awarded. So these are the exceptions. Next damages agreed upon in advance in case of breach of contract. When a contract has been broken and if a sum is named in the contract as the amount to be paid in case of such breach or if the contract contains any other stipulation, stipulation manje art, kiva shart, by way of penalty, the party complaining of the breach is entitled whether or not actual damage or loss is proved to have been caused, thereby to receive from the party who has broken the contract reasonable compensation not exceeding the amount so named or as the case may be that the penalty stipulated. For example, X enters into contract with Y that if X carry on his practice as a pleader in Mumbai, he will pay Y rupees 3000. X practices as a pleader in Mumbai. Y is entitled to such compensation not exceeding rupees 3000 as the court considers reasonable. The next type of damage is damages for loss or loss of reputation. Such damages are not generally recoverable except when a bank wrongful wrongfully refuses to honor a customer check. Rules regarding the amount of damages. The principle to be followed by the courts in determining the amount of damages. So here that is compensation for loss or damages caused by breach of contract is based on the judgment in Hadley versus Buxenden. So this case already I have explained in the previous video. So with this, I have completed types of damages. Thank you.